welcome. My name's Dart. Welcome to Dart Frog's Corner again. <laughs> again, really? Yeah. This is, this is gonna be a hopefully a weekly thing. Yeah. Sorry, you didn't seem too enthused about it yet. What do so, you got, Dart? So I've got this Minecraft portrait. There's torches. There's iron. There's coal. There's lava. Dirt. Uh, stone, cobblestone, torches, lava, dirt. Yeah. Oh! I didn't realize it was I didn't know it was open. Yeah, I opened it. Too. Well, thank Look. you for opening it. Let me know you opened it. Um, and there's another side. Snow. Here's a piece. There's a piece. Um, so there's snow, there's a snow biome. 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 And then you got coal over here. That's a crafting bench. I should get Steve. I need a person, a Minecraft person. Well, I believe TNT. you had Steve at some point, or he might be. Dart collects the little Minecraft toys. There's sheep, so. there's sheep. And then here's the desert biome biome and then that's something it, it goes on the fridge i think i don't know i think you're right though it looks like a magnet yeah so there's these only one of them has clouds yeah no two of them well these ones um we picked up for you oh you know what we forgot to tell them what forgot to tell them how much we spent oh how much we spent 78 today 78 and, and some where did cents. we where did we spend it at? No, it was 77 and some cents. So it was 78. Whoa, way more than 45. Correct. Last time. Right, but we did get way more stuff than last time. Yeah. Uh, way more. I um, went uh, I went to the Hillcrest, not Hillcrest. Um, that'll probably be later on today. We went to our outlet, the Goodwill outlet again. Um, I've been having some real good luck there the last couple weeks. So, Dart has got our second item because I've dropped the ball here. What do you got, Dart? I've got uh, a viewfinder. Let me see if I can get that, if I can get the camera. Oh, wow. It's upside down. Sorry. It's okay. I usually put them in upside down, too. And there are six of these. Six different tapes. That's kind of cool that um, the camera's able to pick it up. Okay, that was kind of creepy. Which one? Well, we're in Sid's bedroom. So. Oh. Okay. Let's do one that's a little less creepy. Here. Yeah. Let me borrow that one. Oh, yeah. I, I know which one was creepy. <laughs> yeah. The baby. Yep. The baby dingy. Oh, <laughs> no. This one doesn't want to spin. I think I got it in the wrong spot. There we go. And Sid was actually the saver of the movie, but I'm not going to tell you why. These are wonderful. I want to check out the Wow. Movie. Okay. All right. I want to check out the creepy one, though. Well, you do, while you do that real fast, Mommy will pick up the next item. Yeah. I've got this, and look, now I can't see what I'm doing here because I left the camera on the back. There I am. I've got this Dandy brand kitty cat stuffed animal. Really soft. I don't know if the camera's going to pick those colors up. Where I'm standing, where the sun's at, I think the camera's doing a fine job of picking the colors up, but I'm not able to see the screen on the camera very well. She's really pretty. She'll probably go in the booth, maybe about $5. I haven't decided if it's going to be about 5 or 6 but probably 5 All right, Dirk. I need you to get ready. Okay, I've got... I've got this right here. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Oh, yeah. But, um, surprise, but open up the stomach and show them the weird one. It's got 
it's it's got puppies in but her one belly. Of them is... She has there's like four puppies in here in her belly. Show them the four. So, but uh, this is the 2005 uh, puppy surprise. I think I think she'll probably go anywhere between seven to ten dollars in the shop, um, or she may end up being an eBay item. I haven't looked her up yet, but uh, yeah, kind of creeps me out. But um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, baby dart. What do you got? Little. It was in the toys part. Little because well, you those know. are little. You've got Easter ornaments and Christmas ornaments. So Easter ornaments. Yes. And then all the Christmas ornaments. Are so the you same. know you get the little little carrots. The camera won't focus. And look at them dropping them. You got an Easter bunny. Another bunny in a in an egg car, right? Um, I'll probably make little bags of these. Wind's taking it. Yeah, um, wind's kind of kicking up. We've got this. That's the only thing that's in the Christmas. Yeah, the only thing in the Christmas one are these little uh, stockings. So they'll probably they'll probably get their little their little bags. Oh, I found something cool. And um, the wind really is. It's a, it's a little wooden puzzle. So it's got all the little pieces, and it's got the wooden base, and you gotta make the square out of the pieces. Yeah, you gotta make the full square. You know. I would try to uh, show this. Off. This is gonna end up in the house. Um, for for the boys, because Scotty really likes puzzles. So do I. So. That's not one of those little hard jigsaw puzzles. No, nope, maybe not. I have got this retro style battleships game. It is, I mean, it's so close to brand new, you could call it brand new. It's got all the pieces in there. It's really super shiny. The box is pristine. So it'll probably go in the shop for about seven or eight dollars. I've got some string and whatever this thing is. String, whatever this thing is. Oh, well, I mean, we can kind of skip some of the... And then one of those jigsaw puzzles I was yeah. talking about. It's another one of those jigsaw puzzles that the boys really enjoy. So that's, that's something for the boys. Inside this bucket here is just a bunch of um, like Legos, some little spider things. Just there's these little squish, squishy stress balls. I have some. Um, so those. I mean, this bucket's kind of like full of game pieces. The game pieces will get their own little bag, and those will go in the shop for about three bucks. So. It was just a it was just a bucket of trinkets bucket. and odds and ends. Oh, the bucket is um, baseball. So I might find some baseballs to put in there and, and be able to put the bucket in the shop. But... So we got all the both, but we've got two of these little jigsaw puzzle balls too. So yeah, I think they're they're exactly the same. It tells you where to start. You gotta you gotta put the ball where it says to start, and then it's just it's just a maze. You gotta get the ball to go where it needs to go to get to the end. And it's a spacecraft one. I'm already on level two. Wow, they're going quick. I can't even find where to start. Oh, but I lost. Okay, so I think we'll keep one for Dart. 
Oh, that is neat. It does have a little spaceship in there. Yeah. Over see. here. Um, and they it are... has a little hole in there. It has a little compartment. Clear. Yeah. Um, um. I think one's for dark, and then uh, the other will probably go in the shop for about, maybe, maybe about $3. I love jigsaw puzzles. Kind of hard. What do you got? I have a mini, I have a mini one of those, yep. you know. But it's not spacecraft. Barbies. I got, well, Dart's got this big bag of Barbie dolls and Barbie doll accessories. Oh. And uh, it'll uh, it'll go in the shop super easy for about 25 bucks. That whole bag there. It's it's decently heavy too. Oh, we got a little ornament that we. That's okay. We missed an ornament. Yeah, it's a little cracker. Nutcracker. Jack. Yep. Nut, nutcracker. I have a Peppa the Pig jack. plush. Um, she'll go in the shop for about three dollars. TNT, there's yep. some Minecraft stuff in there. Yep. There. So Dart's got this big bag here. I want to go through uh, that at the end. We'll go through it. Um, some Minecraft stuff. I know. Um, it's full of little metal, I can't speak, little metal airplanes. It's That's got, go yep, it's got Disney characters in there. It's got little, little toy trucks. Um, so they'll get, um, they'll get bagged up individually. Little toy in, uh, in their respective categories. And they'll, each bag will go for three to five dollars. And there's easily at least six or seven bags worth of toys in here. I've got this marble maze thing. The marble whirl. It's got all those, uh, all the little marble racing cards in there. I want it too. I know. I'm thinking we'll play with this at the house for a little while before we put it in the shop. I can um, probably use it for my lighting games too. Probably. Uh, I think we're going to uh, look it up on eBay, but I think uh, I think about eight dollars or so on this. I have this. It's Build a Bear Rarity My Little Pony plush. Um, she'll easily easily go in the shop for about five dollars. Rarity. Yep. Um, I've got this little cake. It actually smells like strawberry. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. And there's strawberries on the top there, and strawberry icing, and then it's a squishy. Okay. I have a Barbie canopy bed. It'll go in. But that was a baby doll bed. You could have used it as Barbie, but this one is definitely a Barbie bed. It'll go in the shop for about $5. I've got these little T.Y. stuffies. Yeah. T.Y. stuffies. So they'll get their own little bag, and uh, we got to add more to it before, before the bag goes out. But usually the bags go about three fifty, four bucks. And I have... Detective Pikachu, brand new with the tags, super duper fluffy, extra clean. And I extra wish, cute. I wish you guys could reach through the camera and feel him. He is so soft. And extra cute too. He is extra cute. I was wearing Pikachu socks yesterday. Oh. Um, he'll go in the shop for about ten bucks. Matches. Get it? Matches. Yep. And socks. You have to match. Oh. Christmas boxes, those are always a must. I don't let them sit there. Those are those will be for the family. I don't know what these are. Uh-oh, Daddy doesn't know about these yet. These are, let me pull them little out. Little pie things. Little pie things. Um, oh, my they're husband in different colors. loves to cook weird things. Um, and these, they make the little, like they would make pasty pies or meat, you know, 
meat pies. In this particular case, they had some sweet cake thing on there um, to make a, a dough press. But uh, I could definitely see my husband doing meat like pies putting, with like them instead of in there. fruit pies. So that's um, gonna go in the kitchen for the hubby. What do you got? I've got two little games. Dart so has in a pickle. One. And where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Um, both of these are in really, really good condition for the most where part. In the world is Carmen um, San they're all there's even a movie of new. Carmen San Diego. Or very, very Go. close to new. Go. I would end up putting these in the shop for for five dollars each. I know what this is. It's a word game. Yes, Scrabble. Scotty's gonna have fun with that. Uh, I haven't checked to see if all the pieces are there. If all the pieces are there, it'll get sold as a set. If all the pieces are not there, these will get uh, put in a bag and sold as craft pieces because everybody likes to make the signs with them and the newer Scrabbles just don't have the same effect, the same... I can't think of the word. We'll have to come back to that word. What do you got? Oh, he's got a gargoyle. You know, when Talking I first... about gargoyles. When I first picked him up, I thought he was the gargoyle from Hercules. But now that I've I've seen him um, in a different setting, uh, that is actually from Notre Dame. He's the gargoyle from uh, Notre Dame. Talking about gargoyles? He'll go in the one. shop. Um, well, no, that's a troll. Um, he'll go in the shop for 10, ten bucks. No. So we got the little troll from Frozen. He'll go in the shop for $3. We have a Funimation um, plush dog from Fruits Baskets. Scott has already looked him up. He is selling on eBay for $50. So he's going to get cleaned up and photoed and put on eBay. This is Daisy. We have a Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck will go in the shop for about $5. Red nose the reindeer. <laughs> red nose the reindeer. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. He's got a little bell. Um, he's really heavy. He's really firm. Um, he does stand up on his own. Let me back up a little bit here. He does stand up on his own. Um, he'll probably go in the shop. Probably about twelve, twelve dollars or so. He's he's pretty big. I mean, yeah. If I sat him next to the bulldog, they'd almost be the same size. Uh, we got a toothless. It's toothless, but he's a little ugly. Yeah, he does kind of little look a little funky here. Um, but uh, this is the uh, Night Fury from How to Train Your toothless. Dragon. Toothless. Uh, little. So he will go in the shop probably about about eight dollars, maybe maybe ten, but I'm thinking eight. We have an Aurora brand, super soft, um, plush horse. He'll go in the shop for $3. Maybe even softer than the... We have Snoopy. He needs a bath. But uh, Can I get Snoopy, it Snoopy Dad? Yeah. Snoopy a dog too? will go in the shop for about $10. He is, uh, he reminds me of Coiteroy. Like exaggerated Coiteroy. And I can't say it. I'm not good at enunciating my Syllables or words, but uh, he's really soft too. I love soft stuffed animals. Football. I had a football like this, or I think my brother had a football like this growing up. Uh, we would all steal it from each other and use it as a pillow. So I think this is something that's gonna stay home with me, just because it's from my childhood. From my remember what brand it is or because we even took our tag off but uh, 
I recognized it immediately as something I had grown up.